Hey, what's up, fellas? It's a little, it's uh, quite, nah, I don't know how much later it is in the day. Um, anyways, I'll get to the point. Um, I'm going to do, the title of this video is going to be something around the fact that there are a, a lot of good women and there are actually good single mothers out there. Now, I'm not trying to bash on women. In fact, uh, this is my second marriage that I'm currently in, but I will tell you why I support the guys in the Manosphere, the Red Pill Society, as well as my, my favorite group is the guys that go their own way. The men go their own way. Um, only about 10% of the women are worthy of having a good average man in their life. Um, the only thing that most, the biggest thing that women fail to understand about men is the amount of risk a man puts up with just to take you on a date. And the amount of effort that a man is expected to do to get a woman just to get a date to go out, just to get her to go out with you is just, it's abnormal. And listen, I, um, I moved here in 2016. I divorced my wife. She didn't divorce me. I left her ass. I told her she, she was too fat, too out of shape, fucking headache every day. Everything was a fist fight. Uh, in fact, the guys at work once a month would send her a six pack and have it sitting on her desk a set of beers called Raging Bitch. I can't even, that's the name of the beer. I'm not trying to cuss or anything else, but uh, man, let me just get to the fucking point. Gave her an ultimatum. She didn't meet the ultimatum. If you're 60 inches tall and you weigh 180 pounds, I do not ever want to be embarrassed to go out in public with my wife. I do not ever want a man to walk up to me and say, hey, that's your wife, that's your wife, right? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, she used to be my girlfriend. That would, um, and I'm not telling you when I got married, I was 50, 51, and she was eight years younger than I, 42. I think she was 42. So anyways, 41, 42. Uh, I don't expect anybody at that age to be a saint or a virgin or anything like that, but you better not embarrass me. You better not. Look, in, uh, my wife lives what's called a country club lifestyle. My second wife. My second wife is an absolute upgrade. She's eight inches taller. She's very accomplished. She, anyways, she's very feminine. She's a girly girl. Anyways, don't fucking matter. Let me get to the fucking point. The point of all of this is that I'm actually starting to see more and more older women, and I'm talking 35 plus, that don't have a man or a hope of picketing a man in their life. A lot of these women are using their children as their retirement fund, and that is a horrible thing to do to a child. The, the risk is so high for a good average man and the fact that men now understand what hypergamy means or monkey branching and all of that stuff about a, whim, a woman's nature. And like, the, what do the guys say? She's not yours. It's just your turn. Uh, I have a, I have a, a lot of love for the Manosphere, the Red Pill Society, but my particular group I like are the men that go their own way. Um, I think if anything happens to my marriage or anything like that, that I will be, yep, I'll be right in there with you. I'll just, that many it doesn't matter. All that to say this, there are good women out there. There are some women that are single mothers who aren't single mothers by their own choice, they just made very bad decisions and they have such a struggle because they're asking the new man in their life to make up for their bad decisions. So, And that's just not a risk men are willing to take anymore. Um, and ladies, it's not that difficult to have a good man in your life.
And if you want to offer to pay half the bills, my wife pays half the bills in this house. Do I need her to? No. Do I need her money? No. Does it help me that she makes me feel like she's invested as I am in this place? Yeah. The house, the cars, all that kind of thing. Yes, absolutely. And to you ladies, you should not and cannot fault men that go their own way. Many of them have had their lives literally obliterated by the women they chose to put in their, in their lives. Um, I can't tell you how upset my ex-wife was when <laughs> as soon as my divor final divorce decree, I think it was in, in, in Virginia, I think it was like you had to wait six months after you had to be separated for six months before you could get a final divorce decree. And I was, I got remarried probably the month after the divorce decree became final. Um, I cannot tell you how upset. And one of the things uh, my ex-wife has done is poison the well with me, with my son. So I haven't heard from any of them. Uh, only until they called, they called me once. And uh, the boys sent me a text once when they needed $125,000 so they wouldn't leave their house. Um, I may have taken one of the suggestions. Anyways, I don't want to get into my business. Um, anyways, all I'm telling you this is, yes, we know there are good women out there. Yes, we know there are good, hardworking women that want to be in a relationship as much as guys do. But it's just not worth the risk anymore. No man should marry a woman because she is in incentivized. She will be paid extra money to divorce you and take half of your shit. So that's why the men go their own way. Yeah, I like the, I like the manosphere. I, I like the uh, uh, delusional women videos and all that kind of stuff, but. I really like the guys who are just like, you know, I think some call themselves monks and the rest of that stuff. There's a guy out there I like and respect a lot. He's called uh, MGTOW Cowboy. I think he's I think he's a good guy. Anyways, all that to say this. Ladies, women, as you age. Even though you're a good woman a good woman, a good mom, you have a good family. It's not, you're not worth the risk. You could, men are putting up with having their lives destroyed for over what? What, do, what am I going to do? What difference do I have if I have you in my life? A woman in my life, or I don't have a woman in my life. There it is. I'll have more money. I'll have more peace of mind. I can do whatever the fuck I want. If I want to leave my underwear in the middle of the floor. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just being silly now. Um, ladies, yes, of course, there are good women. And there are some fantastic single mothers out there. But it's just not worth it for a man. This isn't a slam on you. It's just guys being practical about their options. And we don't have to play anymore. They don't have to play anymore. Stay safe and healthy, gentlemen. Love you guys. I'm going to do what I can to help you without taking anything from you. Yeah. Like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.